Hello, Periscopers. It is Asa Laveau, your chief genius activator, trying to get this working right. This isn't working right. It's okay. Um, I am here to talk to you today. Oh, I'll, I'll actually wait a few minutes for um, a couple of people to come on because you get notifications in Periscope that someone's actually scoping. So I'll wait a second. I'm okay with that. So thank you for joining me on this moment. Most of the time I actually do late night Periscope, so I'm changing a little bit and doing one in the daytime. So this is kind of cool. So I wanted to talk to aspiring entrepreneurs. That's who I meant to talk to and I'm actually gonna park. I should be doing this driving because my hands free thing. Hi, hi, I am Bashiba. Nice to see you here. Um, so with today we're gonna talk about no. The word no. So I get it. As far as being an aspiring entrepreneur, uh, you have a lot of things that you can say yes to. You have clients that you can say yes to. You have business partners you can say yes to. Um, if you understand that entrepreneurship is totally not about um, totally not about competition and it's totally about collaboration, you could actually say no to someone that wants to collaborate with you. And guess what? You can say no to all of that. Hi, O-E-R-A -E mag. I don't know how to say that. So, you have a lot of things that you can say yes to, and you have a lot of things that you can say no to. However, what I'm finding is that when entrepreneurs are starting starting out, you feel as though you have to say yes to everything. That's not real. Oh, Shanita. How you doing, Shanita? So, you don't have to say yes to every single thing that comes in front of your face. You don't. In this moment, I'm actually going to ask you to get comfortable with the word no no um, so but before you get comfortable with that word no I want you to be able to give everyone else the grace and the space to say no to so just because somebody says you invite someone to your speaking engagement you invite someone to your grand opening you invite someone to your book signing you invite someone uh, just even to dinner I need you to be able to give everyone the grace and the space to say no no. Why? Because you need to give yourself that same grace and space to allow those two letters to make a big and bold difference for you. Thank you. She said that's good. Uh, that Shanita said that's good. So yes, but everybody should be able to give that. You And you shouldn't make up something else as a result of someone else's no. So if you invite, let's say you invite a cousin and you say, hey, you know, Sarah, let's go to uh, let's go to the movies, and she says no. You should be like, okay. No one needs an explanation for their no. No one. So I call it. So by the way, if you don't know, I cuss. Yeah, and I cuss frequently, and yes, it is a part of my brand. Um, I'm very clear about that. So if. They are, yes, and not feel rejected, Shanita, uh, Shanita exactly. So if they aren't, uh, it's called the, the tri, the F, the tri F, how does I name that? The three Fs of life. That's what I call it. So if you ask me something and I'm not interested and I say no, you don't get an explanation unless you're one of three things and usually it's a bundle of the three. Hi, Realtor Dion. Dion. So if you're not financing me, if you're not feeding me, and you're not fucking me, those three things. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Um, like I said, I cuss. I meditate and I cuss. So if you're not doing those three things, you don't get an explanation about why the hell I said no at all. And when I say no, it's a complete sentence. And I don't have to tell you why. And But then you make up some issue in your mind like, oh, he thinks he's too good. Or um, he has a problem with me. Hi, Miss Jalicia. Uh, or he doesn't understand what it's like to be me. You just made all that shit up. 
<laughs> don't make that up when people tell you no. It's totally okay for people to say no to you. Even if you're working with, um, especially dates. Oh my God. So, single people, <laughs> make some noise. <laughs> Let me see single people. So, if you are on any of the dating apps, any of the dating websites, guess what? People get to say no to you. So just because, even when they said yes. So you're on, let's say you're on Tinder. Yes. So you're on Tinder, you have swiped right. And guess what? Shit got real and they swiped right too. Yes, that feeling of ding. Your little hearts come together, toggle a little bit back and forth. And you're like, oh, somebody likes me back. And guess what? They get to change their mind and say no, too. Yeah. They get to say no, too. How do I sit well with no's like that? People who change their mind. Same way I would um, rape advocacy. So if you're an advocate for um, rape victims or rape survivors, you know that when you teach something like that, you say to men and women that if anybody is in your bed, they could be butt naked in your bed, turned you on, you turn them on, and it is undeniable that you are turned on. And right before the act actually happens, one person says no, well, guess what? It is a wrap. It is a wrap. They could be naked, drunk, feeling it, all of that in your bed. And guess what? They get to change their minds in that moment and say no. The same way you get to change your mind and say no about anything else that you have going on. Now, I will say, if you have a habit of saying no, you're going to get the reputation of being a flake if you've already made a decision. So, Think about your yes before it's a yes so the no won't have to come. Please, I ask of you. But I said all that to say, be comfortable with the no's you give and the no's that you receive. It's not an attack on you. Please understand that your the totality of who you are is not wrapped up in someone else's decision. So you are still worthy. You are still beautiful. You are still magnificent. You are still... Um, a, a perfect depiction of beauty and grace and all of those things and not because somebody said yes or no to you. Yeah, period. You are all those things regardless. And so when you don't attach yourself to someone else's decision of working, buying, uh, going out with you, it world works out for the better, okay? So, and all my scopes, I make sure that I have a question answer. I develop and train aspiring entrepreneurs. So are there any questions? I wait about 15 seconds to see if I have any questions pop up. It'll be anything about entrepreneurship. So yes, this scope was about, you know, a no and the power of your no. Um, and if you have additional questions, like I say, like I don't have a question right now, but I I think I'm going to ask one in the future. Well, you could actually ask that question by going to geniuscafe.co. That's G-E-N-I-U-S-C-A-F-E dot C-O. Geniuscafe.co. If you don't have a question right now in this moment. All right. So I'm respectful of your time. I didn't see any questions about entrepreneurship. So until next time, dreams and blessings.